morning. My name is Babiha Bakshi, and today I will be talking about my project, Visualizing 400 Years of History of the Indigenous Native American, the Potawomac Tribe of Virginia. This visible presentation explores the deep history of the Indigenous Native American tribe, the Potawomac, which is based in Stafford County, Virginia, along the Potomac River. This study is a close examination of the histories and artifacts of the Potawomac starting in the 1600s, revealing how the people were displaced from their native land because of the effects of colonialism and English enroachment on their traditional customs. Here are some present day challenges that the tribe is currently facing. Very recently, the American Museum of Natural History announced that they will be closing two exhibits featuring American Indian objects and history. This closure comes at a time where the Potawomac tribe, among countless others, are fighting to gain federal recognition. While the tribe has occupied their land for over 600 years, they still do not have federal recognition, which would grant them access to health care, housing, education, and funding. In addition to proving their cultural existence, there are racial barriers against the tribe, such as the Racial Integrity Act, which disregards the term Indian as a racial identifier and identifies American Indians with other terms that undermine their existence. Given these circumstances and the fact that educational Native American exhibits are closing, it is imperative that the tribe has ways of preserving its history to the fullest and can educate others on their culture. These pictures here depict a indigenous woman cooking food, um, a two members of the tribe fishing, and then these are remnants of a Potawomac bow. In terms of activities, I have been working with the tribe who has recently opened a museum to protect their culture and ensure that future generations will continue to learn about the legacy of the Potawomac Indians. I'm volunteering with the museum and the tribe to develop digital storyboards related to tribal history and artifacts for museum tours aimed towards elementary school children. The tribe also previously did not have an oral history or a library cataloged, and I worked to create these resources that they needed to prove their historical existence, which is a process that is heavily, heavily evolved with gaining the federal recognition that the tribe is seeking. This is an example of a digital story which depicts um, a chief that is issued a silver medal, which is one of the most prized possessions of the tribe today. The story began with the increasing density of English settlements on Potawomac land, which actually led to many conflicts between the English and the Potawomacs as time went on. Although the Potawomacs tried to make numerous efforts to live alongside the British, their ultimate goal of was to either remove or assimilate all of the local American Indians so that all the available land could be taken up. And in effort to do so, many of the Stafford County leaders at the time accused the chief of the Potawomacs of murder and treason. And in response, he traveled to defend himself in course before the Virginia Council, and he was successful. He was acquitted, which was a remarkable outcome for an American Indian who had been accused by elite and powerful Englishmen, especially in this time period. As a result, he was issued a badge, um, which happened during an act that was passed granting American Indians the right to use their land and to fish for food and use their land for cultural purposes. He was given the medal and then on his travels throughout Virginia, the medal was lost in the city of Camden. However, many, many years later, it was found by a farmer and then returned back to the remaining members of the tribe today, and it is currently being stored in the Potawomac Tribes Cultural Museum. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I look forward to answering any of your questions.